Numerical Methods, Problem 8.23 Many fields of engineering require accurate population estimates. For example, transportation engineers might find it necessary to determine separately the population growth trends of a city and adjacent suburb. The population of the urban area is declining with time according to P of U of T equals P of U max times e to the negative ku times t plus p of u min, while the suburban population is growing as in p of s of t is equal to p of s max divided by 1 plus p of s max divided by p of 0 minus 1 times e to the negative ks times t, where p u max KU, PS max, P of zero, and KS equals empirically derived parameters. Determine the time and corresponding values of P of U of T and P of S of T when the suburbs are 20% larger than the city. The parameter values are P of U max equals 75,000, K of U equals 0.45 per year, P of U min equals 100,000 people, P of S max equals 300,000 people, P of zero equals 10,000 people, K of S equals 0.08 per year. To obtain your solution, use a graphical solution, a false position solution, and a modified secant method solution. So, what we need to do is find where the suburbs are 20% larger than the city. Okay, so here we have all our values that are given to us by the problem. Here we have our equation for our city, and here we have our equation for our suburb population. By multiplying our city by 1.2 and then subtracting our suburb population, we can find where these two equations intersect plus 20%, or where the suburbs are 20% larger than the city. So, here we plot out the graphs of the city, the suburbs, and the two graphs combined together. And at zero of the third graph in green should be our solution. Part two asks us to do the false position method. So we pick a T upper and a T lower and I have picked 20 and 40 and then our false position method right here will send our guesses into the equation and find our root here are some parameters for our false position method is properly set up and here is our graph our estimated plot of the false position method, our estimation to zero is going to be in yellow for the false position method. And then finally, we implement our modified secant method with our guess of 40 and our delta of 0.01. And here is our modified secant method and we'll also plot that up in black. So, let's plot it up. Alright, so here we have our two graphs. Our two graphs here, where we have suburbs in red, the city in blue, and a combined graph in green.
and then here is our approximation to our zero on the combined graph which will be our solution to the problem and as you can tell both the false position method and the modified secant method are both on our zero as you can see both ye the yellow and black dot are on top of each other and so here are our results t is equal to 39.606 from the modified secant method. Then T of R is equal to 39.606 from the false position method. Obviously we can put those back into our equation. And we get our approximation is very, very, very close to zero, as close as it can be. And that is our solution, 39.606.